other questions? Yes, ma'am. Except some of the letters. Do you need the mic? <clears throat> I guess I have two, two related questions. You may have answered one when I was out of the room, which is how those groups regard political Islam, the various forms of it that are out there. The second one is one of the letters that you showed you made reference to broken families. So it sounded as if there was, in the social activism, there was, they perceived a pressing problem that perhaps through education mm -hmm. they might be able to address. Could you reflect on what that phrase, broken families, means? Well, the Somali refugees all have broken <coughs> families. I mean, any one of us could name six African countries that have been under siege in, in the past decade, um, and whole civilizations that have been uh, destroyed. You look at Sierra Leone and Liberia and Rwanda and, you know, let's go on and on. There are very few that don't fall into that category, and many of the people who escape the, the, the destroyed um, culture come to the United States and, and try to settle and pull their lives together. They're missing family members, and they're missing their culture, and um, part of the social activism um, seeks to help these people put their lives together in terms of cultural um, cohesion in, in, and education is a large part of that. So absolutely, education is involved. Yes. So, so it's that aspect rather than apostasy or criminal oh, behavior? Yes, yes. I mean, um, prayers Prayers are great, but you can't eat them. And you know, if there's a choice um, between prayer and, and you know praying for somebody and providing food for them, well, that's a no-brainer. And and these people, all the ones I know, are very practical about helping people to acquire and achieve whatever is necessary for a peaceful life and creating conditions that then will allow the pursuit of, of a prayerful spiritual community. But, but you have to have food in your stomach and a secure place to sleep and, and the security of knowing your children will have clothes and, and lessons and that sort of thing first. And so that's what they seek to provide. And what about the political Islam? Yeah, the, the Sufis. <laughs> The Sufis, try, the, these Qadariya Sufis anyway, try very much to um, be patient. Um, there are times when you need to be um, politically activist in, in response, and I, I think that um, a few of, of Sheikh Mohammed Sharif's writings have, have been of that order. We were talking at lunch about a film that um, that is of great interest to me, and I think you would like, it's called New Muslim Cool, and it's about the Pittsburgh community around the time that Muhammad Sharif left, because he um, needed to leave, and the main character in it is um, uh, Hamza Perez, who is a Latino rapper who converted to Islam, and this community was under surveillance by the FBI, and the mosque was raided. This was right after 9-11. And he was teaching at a prison, teaching Islam, and they prevented him from teaching any longer. And um, they were under a lot of pressure. And why? Because it was a predominantly African-American and somewhat Latino community that had numbers. And they were Muslim. And that was scary enough to the government to cause an FBI um, raid on their mosque, uh, which their mosque was, was a little run-down, two-story building in a not-so-nice neighborhood of, of, of Pittsburgh. So it wasn't like it was some lavish, Saudi-funded um, palace. So, um, so there's... So to go back to your question, the, there is, how do you respond to that? Well, with patience, because otherwise you'll end up in jail. What are you going to do? Just hope that 
they have no cause to put you in jail, and, and there was no cause. It was it was just profiling. Um, on the other hand, in response to how do you respond to the Salafis in 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 Texas or, or other <coughs> conservative maybe Wahhabi groups? Well, with the same kind of patience, you just keep doing what you're going to be doing, and um, there will always be more conservative and um, restrictive Muslims who will perhaps criticize you for what you're doing, but what can you do? I mean, there, there are times to speak out, but that's about the extent of any fighting back that you can do. Just keep doing what you're doing, focusing on your, your own education. I mean, this should, the, the philosophy that, that Sheikh Mohammed has is, this should be your focus, not them out there. They can say what they want. But this is what I'm doing. This is what I believe is important for my soul, my spirit, my community, people around me, everyone's welfare, and that's what I'm going to focus my energy on rather than something negative. So, I don't know. Does that answer your mm -hmm. question? Okay. Anyone else? Questions? I guess that uh, if there aren't any more questions, then we'll close. Okay. Thank you so very much Thank for coming. Thank you all very much. And <laughs> it's really been a, a pleasure and honor um, to hear you speak and to learn more about this. And also to have to just want to recognize the fact that it's your uh, meticulous work that's made this um, spreading of the entire possible. It's quite exciting. Isn't we it? look forward to hearing from you as this unfolds. Okay. Thank you. Chapter. Thank you so much. Thank you.